today back then. What happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. It's 1703 in Japan. The 47 Ronin avenged the death of their master. Nope, it wasn't just a Keanu Reeves movie. In 1713, England and the Netherlands signed the second anti-French boundary treaty. I guess they didn't like the French. In 1774, Captain Cook sails closer to the South Pole than anyone else had previously. In 1781, Maryland ratifies the Articles of Confederation, the 13th state to do so. In 1790, the first lifeboat is tested on the River Tyne in England. In 1797, the first recorded anti-slavery petition was written by African Americans and was presented to the U.S. Congress. It was rejected. In 1800, the U.S. population was 5,308,483. As of this video, the population is estimated to be 332,459,153. We are 63 times bigger now. In 1806, the original Lower Trenton Bridge between Pennsylvania and New Jersey is opened. In 1815, Thomas Jefferson donates 6,500 of his personal books to reestablish the destroyed Library of Congress, which had been burned down. In 1818, English poet John Keats composed his sonnet, When I Have Fears. In 1826, the world's first modern suspension bridge opens. It spans the Isle of Anglesey to Wales in Britain. In 1835, Richard Lawrence attempts to assassinate Andrew Jackson. This is the first assassination attempt of a U.S. president ever. In 1838, Osceola, chief of the Seminole Indians, dies in jail. In 1841, a fire destroys most of the city of Mayaguez, Puerto Rico. In 1847, Yerba Buena, California is renamed San Francisco. By the way, Yerba Buena means good herb. Hmm, maybe it's just a coincidence. In 1862, the first American ironclad warship, the USS Monitor, is launched. In 1873, Jules Verne publishes his book, Around the World in 80 Days. In 1832, Franklin D. Roosevelt, the 32nd U.S. President, is born. In 1894, the pneumatic hammer is patented by Charles King of Detroit. In 1895, the passenger ship SS Elby sinks after colliding with the steamship Crathy in the North Sea. 334 lives were lost. In 1911, the Canadian Naval Service becomes the Royal Canadian Navy. Also in 1911, the destroyer USS Terry makes the first airplane rescue at sea 10 miles from Havana, Cuba. In addition, in 1911, a volcano erupted in the Philippines, killing 1,500 people. In 1921, French rapist murderer Henri Desiree Landru sentenced to death for 11 counts of murder. In 1924, at the Chamonix Olympic Games, Great Britain wins the very first gold medal for curling. Yep, curling has been around for quite a while. In 1930, police arrest nine members of the Standard Exchange for fraud, including members of the five biggest mining companies. In 1931, Charlie Chaplin's City Lights premieres at a Los Angeles theater. In 1933, Adolf Hitler becomes Chancellor of Germany and the Third Reich begins. Also in 1933, The Lone Ranger premieres on ABC TV. It ran for 21 years. In 1936, the new owners of the Boston Braves baseball team changed the name to the Boston Bees. They changed it back pretty quickly. In 1939, Hitler first calls for the extermination of Jews. In 1941, U.S. Vice President Dick Cheney is born. In 1942, Hitler speaks at the Sports Palace in Berlin. He states, the war will end with the complete annihilation of the Jews. In 1944, the U.S. invades the Marshall Islands. In 1945, the Wilhelm Gustloff was sunk by a Soviet submarine during World War II. 9,400 people die in the worst ever maritime disaster. In 1946, the Roosevelt Dime is issued. In 1948, aviation pioneer Orville Wright passes away at 76 years old. Also in 1948, Nathrum Godsey, a Hindu extremist, assassinates Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi, who is also respectfully referred to as Mahatma Gandhi. Also on this day in 1948, the fifth Winter Olympic Games open in St. Moritz, Switzerland. 
1951, British singer-songwriter Phil Collins is born. Also in 1951, Ferdinand Porsche, German car inventor, dies at 75. In 1952, the Korean War truce talks deadlock. In 1956, Elvis Presley records his version of Blue Suede Shoes. Also in 1956, Martin Luther King Jr.'s home is bombed. In 1957, the U.S. Congress accepts the Eisenhower Doctrine defining U.S. foreign policy during the Cold War. In 1958, the British House of Lords begins to allow women. Also in 1958, the first two-way moving sidewalk opens in Dallas, Texas. In 1959, the MS Hans Hedtoft is said to be the safest ship afloat and unsinkable, just like the RMS Titanic. Well, she strikes an iceberg on her maiden voyage and sinks, just like the Titanic, killing all 95 aboard. They need to stop calling ships unsinkable. In 1960, the African National Party is created in Chad. In 1961, Bobby Darin becomes the youngest performer to headline a TV special on NBC. Also in 1961, Patsy Cline releases I Fall to Pieces, her iconic song. In 1962, two members of the Flying Valenda's High Wire Act are killed when their seven-person pyramid collapses during a performance in Detroit, Michigan. In 1964, NASA's lunar probe Ranger 6 is launched. The probe made a perfect landing on the moon and on schedule, but its TV camera system was inoperable. Oops. In 1965, the state funeral of Winston Churchill occurs. In 1966, Corinth, Mississippi records a record low temperature of minus 19 degrees Fahrenheit. Not to be outdone, New Market, Alabama hits minus 27 Fahrenheit the same day. In 1968, the North Vietnamese launched the Tet Offensive. Also in 1968, Bobby Goldsboro records his biggest hit, Honey. In 1969, the Beatles give their last public performance. It was on a rooftop in London. In 1971, UCLA starts an 88-game basketball winning streak. In 1972, on Bloody Sunday, British troops kill 13 unarmed protesters in Northern Ireland. In 1973, a jury finds Watergate defendants Liddy and McCord guilty on all accounts. Also in 1973, rock band KISS plays their first show. It was at the Coventry Club in Queens, New York. In 1975, the Monitor National Marine Sanctuary is established as the first United States National Marine Sanctuary. Also in 1975, Erno Rubik applies for a patent for his magic cube invention. I'll bet you can guess what it ended up being called. In 1977, the eighth and final episode of Roots airs. It is the most watched entertainment show ever with over 100 million viewers. In 1978, The Larry King Show begins airing on radio. In 1979, Varig Flight 967 disappears from the face of the earth today and has not been seen since with all on board presumably dead. Curiously, six years earlier, the same pilot crash-landed Varig Flight 820 outside of Paris. 123 people lost their lives in that wreck, but not the pilot. In 1981, the eighth American Music Awards show airs. Barbara Streisand and Kenny Rogers are big winners. In 1982, Elk Cloner, the first computer virus, is created by 15-year-old Richard Screnta as a practical joke. In 1983, Super Bowl 17, the Redskins beat the Dolphins 27 to 17. In 1985, the Canadian government declares that while the metric system will continue to be mandatory, retailers can also use the U.S. imperial system if they want to. In 1989, the American Embassy in Kabul, Afghanistan closes. Also in 1989, five pharaoh sculptures from 1470 BCE are found at the Temple of Luxor in Egypt. In 1989 as well, the 16th American Music Awards air. Randy Travis and George Michael are big winners. In 1990, NHL great Wayne Gretzky scores his 100th point of the season for the 11th straight season, setting a new NHL record. In 1992, STS-42, the Space Shuttle Discovery, lands. In 1993, 100,000 Europeans demonstrate against fascism and racism. In 1994, Peter Leko of Hungary becomes the youngest chess grandmaster. Also in 1994, the Buffalo Bills suffer their fourth straight Super Bowl loss, 
as they are defeated by the Dallas Cowboys 30-13 in Super Bowl 28. In 1995, the National Institutes of Health announced successful clinical trials of preventative treatment for sickle cell disease. Also in 1995, the 22nd American Music Awards air, Boys to Men and Ace of Bass are winners. In 1996, future basketball Hall of Famer Magic Johnson comes out of a five-year retirement. In 1998, Paul Simon's The Cape Man premieres in New York City. It runs for 68 performances. Also in 1998, the Howard Stern Radio Show premieres in Indianapolis, Indiana on WNAP 93.1 FM. In 2000, Super Bowl 34, the St. Louis Rams beat the Tennessee Titans 23-16. Also in 2000, Kenya Airways Flight 431 crashes into the Atlantic Ocean, killing 169. In 2002, Utah's Carl Malone becomes only the second player in NBA history to register 34,000 career points, trailing only Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. In 2003, Belgium legally recognizes same-sex marriage. In 2005, the first free parliamentary elections in Iraq since 1958 take place. In 2007, Microsoft releases Windows Vista. In 2011, the 58th NHL All-Star Game in Raleigh, North Carolina occurs. Team Lidstrom wins 11-1. What a game. In 2013, spy drama The Americans premieres on the FX channel. In 2014, 24 hostages are killed after six suicide bombers temporarily take over the Iraqi Ministry of Transportation in Baghdad. In 2017, scientists in central China reveal the fossil of the oldest known human ancestor, 540 million year old Sacrahatus. In 2019, scientists reveal the discovery of a cavity six miles long and 1,000 feet deep under a glacier in West Antarctica, leading to fears it might collapse and raise sea levels by two feet. We're still trying to figure that one out. In 2020, the World Health Organization declares the outbreak of COVID-19 as a public health emergency of international concern. That was kind of a long one, so you might want to take a break, but I know you're going to want to watch more of my videos, so I have them ready for you. Right here, They're right there, ready. So I'll see you soon.